It has been around three weeks since the G20 summit took place in Delhi. If the summit was an exam that India aced, what followed is a series of weekly tests for SJ Shankar and his ministry. First, there was Justin Trudeau and his allegations of murder without proofs. More recently, it is the election of Mohammad Muizu, a known Chinese sympathizer, as the new president of Maldives. Now, amidst all this, what might have escaped attention is a trip to China by Nepal's Prime Minister for a whopping eight days. But what definitely didn't make headlines was that just two days after PM Prachanda reached China, a senior officer of the Indian Army arrived in Nepal for a visit. When Nepal Prime Minister Pushpa Kamal Dahel Prachanda landed in China on September 23rd, it was the first high-level visit of a Nepali leader to China since 2019. Now, Prachanda met Chinese President Xi Jinping, Prime Minister Li Keqiang, and here's what was discussed at least on the face of it. The building of a transmission line in the northern border region, solar power installation in remote border areas, building of roads, reopening of border transit points, and also starting direct flights from China to Pokhara. Significantly, Prachanda told Xi Jinping that Nepal remains committed to the One China policy, which means that Kathmandu views Taiwan as a part of China. This comes in the backdrop of Xi Jinping's increased aggression against Taiwan, India, and against many other nations in the South China Sea. But what could be more important is that the Nepal PM apparently refused to endorse one of Xi Jinping's ambitious plans, which is the Global Security Initiative. In the joint statement uh, that followed the talks between Prachanda and Xi Jinping, there was no mention of the international security doctrine that China has been pushing for some time. Only the Global Development Initiative was mentioned. What may be coincidental but is very interesting is that this refusal to endorse the security policy of Xi Jinping came as a senior Indian Army officer was visiting Nepal. Major General Alok Kakar, who is General Officer Commanding uh, Madhya Uttar Pradesh sub-areas and Colonel of Regiment 9 Gorkha Rifles, arrived in Nepal two days after Prachanda reached China. He came back to India on the same day that the Nepal PM returned home. Major General Kakar met the Nepal Army leadership and called on his Chief General Prabhu Ram Sharma. Talks were held on deepening India and Nepal's military ties. Major General Kakar also felicitated gallantry awardees at a rally in Bokhara. Indian officials called the trip successful and productive. The Indian and Nepalese armies have a long history of close ties. Many recruits of the Gorkha regiments of the Indian Army are from the hill districts of Nepal. Nepalese Army personnel also get training slots at Indian Army training institutions. The fact that Indian and Nepalese Army chiefs get the honorary rank of general in each other's forces shows the depth of our relations. Now, in such a situation, more diplomatic missions for Indian Army's top leadership could be a potent weapon in Delhi's battle with China for dominance in the neighborhood and specifically in Nepal.